Guys, it seems today is your lucky day. I'm coming at you with a bonus video to my channel because I just received a very exciting delivery from Chanel and I wanted to share the details with you, what I got. It's right here and it's so exciting. I haven't opened it or anything. Wanted to get on here really quickly, film a little something for you and also share details about how I got the item because as the title suggests, I got this particular Chanel item from none other than the biannual Chanel sale, which I'm not sure if many of you guys know if it's happening at the moment, but it certainly is despite all the lockdowns and everything. So. I wanted to just jump on here and make a video, show you guys what I got, talk about prices and things like that, as well as some of the other items that I was shown by my essay. I will include pictures and everything. So I'm gonna jump straight into unboxing. And as you can tell, especially for those Chanel aficionados out there, this is an accessory. And actually I bought something that's perfect for these winter months because if you're in the UK, you know it's damn cold right now. And so I thought this would be perfect. And just as a quick bit of background, the Chanel sale happens usually the first week of Jan every year, as well as the summer sale, usually the last week of June, first week of July. This year around, I believe it started on the 2nd of Jan, but not many people knew about it because, you know, lockdowns and in the UK, we're not allowed to actually go out anymore. They're not essential shops, so go figure. But it's certainly still happening online. My essay told me about it and actually he's at Heathrow. So I was even shocked that first of all, Heathrow boutiques are still open, but second of all, that there was still an ongoing sale and that you know you could get stuff delivered to you. So this actually came in literally today as I'm filming. I ordered it yesterday. So the turnaround time was less than 24 hours. So I'm super, super impressed. Anyway, so let me open this packaging with you. And um, the sale, I think, is up to 40% off, but I'll talk prices in a second. So let me just take out what's in this pouch. And let me just check everything's out. Yes. So in the little bag, we have the receipt and we have a little pouch. And it's the first time I've actually gotten a little pouch with my items. I usually buy bags or small leather goods, shoes. So I've never actually bought an accessory like this. And it's a scarf, as you can tell, so I stopped being elusive. And you can probably see the print already, and it's so adorable. So we have here a Chanel cashmere scarf, and it is so long. It's so pretty in person. Holy cow, that is long. <laughs> My essay wasn't kidding when he said it was a long scarf. So yeah, anyway. Let me, let me try this on. It's so soft to touch. I mean, you guys all know cashmere is the one of the softest materials out there for scarves anyway. I'm gonna have to probably do a modeling shot or something because you just won't be able to see and it's covering my hair and everything and it's messing everything up. But it is literally down to my knees as I'm sat down and I'm sure you could do it multiple times, multiple loops. I mean, I need to move my hair out of the way. My hair's gotten really, really long this lockdown, guys. Um, but yeah, I just love how soft this is, how um, wearable this is as well, because actually you can tell it's a monochrome. So we've got obviously like a, I would say it's like an off-white color. Um, it's not really completely white. I think that's actually a good thing because knowing me and my makeup escapades, I could very well ruin it with my face rubbing on it. Um, and then you've just got a, a black detail here and it's got, beautiful little uh, snowflakes and uh, CCs on the side as well. And you've also got on the on the white part at the top, hopefully you can see this very subtle uh, snowflakes as well, uh, which I think is really, really nice detailing. And I also think the CCs aren't super in your face. I know a lot of their scarves, they have the massive, especially in the last collection anyway, autumn winter collection, they had the big CCs on the bottom for the long scarves. I know they did a lot of these and I thought it was a bit too gaudy. I know me, right? <laughs> too gaudy. But I think this is a little bit more inconspicuous. And I actually have, as you may know, my Chanel camel hat. I think it would look so cute together. And in fact, even with this blazer, I think I actually lack a lot of um, more neutral items. All of my scarves are like black or gray or something. So I thought, well, as soon as I saw this actually, as part of the sale pile of photos that my essay sent me, I just knew I had to have it. And 
I must admit, actually, in terms of more context, so, um, like I mentioned, my essay is in Heathrow because I did basically all of my shopping the last few years with Chanel at Heathrow. I have bought from Harrods before and some of the other boutiques in London, but I, I do prefer shopping tax-free at Heathrow, though that is soon to end, so I need to cultivate more of my relationships uh, in the UK, it seems. But anyway, I just reached out to him just to see what's happening and he said there was a sale going on. I totally forgot about it. I'm usually quite on it in terms of the sales. In fact, I usually go and check out the sales every half a year. And I find though over the years, having said that, that the sales have been very variable in terms of the quality and caliber of items. They're usually all the, um, how should I say it, weird items, very garish kind of colors or some of the stuff that you know nobody really wants from the collections. And Last year in particular, I didn't find it super inspiring, and that was when I even queued up in person, you know. So I did find, as a, I guess, a plus this time round, with everything that's happening in society, that being able to look at photos online just saves you, obviously, the hassle of having to go and queue up in store, which I queued up for hours before, and I just managed to get my Chanel hat because that was the only thing I found that was remotely something I'd want regardless of if it was on sale. So I saw this on one of the photos. Like I mentioned, I will include all of the uh, photos that I did get from my essay. The selection was a little bit smaller because it's Heathrow, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers, uh, as well as other forums, posting a lot of the sale items that they've seen from their local boutiques. So I got sent a lot of the accessories photos and they were up to 40% off. There is a lot of um, stuff from the Egyptian collection and the Metiers Dart collection. It looks a bit better compared to what I've seen in previous year's sales, especially last year. I didn't find that very inspiring at all, like I mentioned. Lots of golds, lots of reds. Um, the shoes I didn't find super, super, you know, interesting, but some of you may disagree. It's a matter of personal taste. I found the scarves and the accessories, so like gloves, as well, I found the little Tully scarves really pretty and cute. And the earring selection was pretty good, even though it's pretty limited uh, at Heathrow. I do think when I've seen other pictures from other boutiques in the UK at least, they look pretty, pretty impressive. And the prices are like two to 300 pounds on sale, which I think for Chanel costume jewelry is pretty good. And you do have a lot of the classic CCs as opposed to, you know, some of the big, more um, seasonal items and styles. So definitely check those out. I do think though that in terms of other jewelry, so you've got their, I think, bandana chokers and you've got big um, pendant necklaces. I, I think those are a bit too OTT. I personally think they're a bit too big. Uh, so I, I've veered away from those, but at the end of the day, matter of personal taste. And I do think a lot of them have the classic pearl detailing CCs. So they would be a lot more timeless than say, if you got something with like, you know, anchors or something like that, something that you could potentially date back. That's if you're into that kind of stuff anyway. But at least for the scarf in particular, so I bought this for 720 pounds, which I know if some of my friends are watching that, 720 pounds for a scarf, are you kidding me? It is absolutely the most expensive scarf that I've ever bought slash may ever buy. I actually don't know of any other scarf brands or designer brands that do more expensive scarves, but once I tell you what the original price was, you're gonna, you're gonna fall off your seat. Because the original price for this scarf was £1,200. Now I've paid crazy money for stuff before, Lord knows, okay? But £1,200 for a scarf. I love this scarf, but not that much. And even at £700, like, Bit of a push, bit of a push, but that's basically what, like 40% off. So I know Chanel marks up their items anyway, like all good high-end designer brands do, but cashmere, Chanel, long scarf, quality, I will, I will justify that somehow anyway. So this is just like a winter gift for myself for, you know, the cold, cold weather that we have been experiencing here in the UK. And I think it's just a very classic item. This will never go out of style because of the colorways. I have seen a lot of the other scarves, especially the silk scarves that they have been um, putting on sale. They're all quite bold in colors. There's a lot of big reds and blues and a lot of print. There is a lot of print going on. And those are a lot cheaper, but I feel like they're a little bit more um, seasonal 
in in terms of usage and wear whereas this one it's expensive but it's a little bit more classic and I believe actually in this particular design there was also the inverted style so you've got the black throughout and then the white detailing of the snowflakes and cc's that you see here I think that one's pretty good for especially a lot of you guys who are like me a bit more conscious about makeup and that kind of thing maybe scuffing on the white I did consider that when I looked at the scarf, but I I do love how classic it looks and it just reminds me of like winter, actual winter snow. And I think I can wear it with all my lighter coloured coats and outfits. So I wanted to show you this really quickly because I really want to wear it first of all. And also second of all, I think the sale is probably gonna go on until the end of the month. But at the time that I post this, you know, will already be, I guess, almost two weeks through. So definitely go check out your local boutiques for all the stock, go through the um, online concierge service if the uh, boutiques near you have that, I'm sure that they do. And you know, if even if you're not a long standing customer with Chanel at your local boutiques, there's a lot of personal shoppers that have good access to the sale. So I'd always recommend, you know, go on an Instagram or something just to put the word out and see if they have stuff available that you might want to buy. Certainly I would be interested in looking at the um, more ready to wear pieces because that's something that my sales associate didn't have such that the selection wasn't that good for him to send me anything. Um, but I'm sure in other dedicated Chanel boutiques other than, you know, ones at the airport terminals, they'll have much better selection anyway. So I'm going to leave it here. Let me know uh, what your sale finds are. If you found anything that is of note in the UK, let me know because I'm currently in the process of reaching out to some of the Harrods essays as well, um, just to check out what else I maybe have missed. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.